Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Today I'm going to be doing another review, the 2022 review for Circus Symbol GOOD, the Gladstone Commercial Corporation. And I'm going to be going over their stock performance, their dividend information, as well as their yield and their earnings and their dividend history, as well as just going to see if they have any decent options. Typically, a stock like this is not going to have very good options so it's not one I would use for. I'm going to go over it anyway just to be thorough and also going to go over the company information from the website itself for the company and that way you have basic information to decide if this is a stock you're interested in doing more research for and decide on your own if this is one you want to invest. If you liked the video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It does greatly help out my channel and I hope you have a great day. At the time of this recording Gladstone Commercial is trading at $20.66 per share. It has an average volume of $153,000 per day, a market cap of $822 million, and a dividend yield going forward of 7.28%. As you can see over the last five years, it is down 1.67%. Over the last year, that is down 7.89%. Year to date in 2022, it is down a lot more. It's down 19.2%. Over the last six months, down 2.04%. Over the last month, it's up 8.5%. Over the last five days, down 0.34%. And there is a warning here on Seeking Alpha that 86 stocks in the real estate sector are at high risk of performing badly. I don't know exactly what that means, but it is something to take into account. Gladstone Commercial Corporation is a real estate investment trust focused on acquiring, owning, and operating net leased industrial and office properties across the United States. Including payments through September 2020, Gladstone Commercial has paid 189 consecutive monthly cash distributions on its common stock. Prior to paying distributions on a monthly basis, Gladstone Commercial paid five consecutive quarterly cash distributions. The company has also paid 53 consecutive monthly cash distributions on its Series D preferred stock, 12 consecutive monthly cash distributions on its Series E preferred stock, and 3 consecutive monthly cash distributions on its Series F preferred stock. Gladstone Commercial has never skipped, reduced, or deferred a distribution since its inception in 2003, and it is headquartered in McLean, Virginia. So this REIT has a forward dividend yield of 7.28%, which comes out to $0.13 cents per share on a monthly basis, which equals $1.50 per year per share. It has a extremely high payout ratio of 15,000%. It has a five-year growth rate of 0.05% and has grown their dividend for the last two years straight. Their ex-dividend date tends to be around the third week of the month. So, for instance, for this one, uh, it is actually tomorrow, August 22nd. And the next one in September should be around the early, the third week of the month. So they actually had the exact same dividend payout on a monthly basis from 2008 until 2019, which is the 0 0.1250 cents per share per month. And then in 2020, they increased it to 0 0.1252. And then in late 2021, they increased it to 0 0.1253, and then in early 2022, increased it to 0 0.1254. They were increasing their dividend slightly, uh, just by basically one thousandth of a cent uh, every year or so since 2020, basically. So this is a map from their website showing the list of the states in the United States currently where they have properties under lease and the dark blue are the states that have properties that they have already under lease and the light blue are the ones that are an additional target markets that they're looking at and the gray ones are ones that they have no properties at at this point but they do have some quite extensive ones in wisconsin there's two as far as options go there aren't really any really great options that you could sell for this dividend reach i mean if you wanted to make any kind of decent premium at all you're gonna have to go into the money selling a put 
if you don't already have 100 shares, which is doable. I mean, it's $125 that you would receive, but you would have to go deep into the money at $22.50, and these have monthly options, and plus the bid and the ask are so far apart. Chances are good you're not going to get the order filled, so it's not really good for options. At least as far as selling put, same thing for calls. You're only going to get decent already sell in the money. Even there, they at least have a somewhat better bid and ask spread as long as you're right at the money. But as you go just even a little bit out of the money, then you can see that the bid and ask here is almost $3 apart. So the chances of you getting this one filled is very, very low. I don't recommend doing these options. If you're just in wanting to invest after you do your own research, I would simply buy the shares. I mean, even if you want to buy 100 shares, I mean, that's $2,000 or so, which is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but it's easier than trying to mess with the shop. So just investing in the shares outright is probably your best bet. So here on TradingView, just taking just a quick glance at their earnings, you can see in quarter three of 2021, they beat their estimated. You can tell that from the grayish circle being the estimate and the green being the actual earnings report. In quarter four, 2021, it looks like their estimate and actual were right on the money. Then in quarter one of 2022, their estimate was beaten by the actual just by a little bit and then right now in quarter two their estimate was actually at zero and they had a surprise earnings of zero negative 0 0.04 so that isn't good as far as their earnings but their estimate for next quarter is going to be at 0 0.05 and here's just their income statements here on the right side i like looking at trading view this way it just makes it easier you can see that their profit in 2017 wasn't that great and the revenue and net income were okay nothing spectacular but pretty good for a read and it did improve a little bit in 2018 as you can see their profit margin skyrocketed to 10.68% then in 2019, their revenue rose and their income dropped a little bit. And so their profit margin dropped again. Then in 2020, surprisingly, even with everything going on, their revenue went up, their net income went up, and their profit margin went up. Now then in 2021, their revenue was okay. It was a little bit higher than in 2020, but not by much. Their net income did drop. And so their profit margin dropped all the way back from about close to 160 million down to about 40 million. So a, a loss of 75% of their profit margin from year over year. Now looking at this quarterly and quarter two, 2021, you can see they had pretty good revenue of 33.37 million and net income of 2.14 million with a profit margin of 6.42%. Then in quarter three, their revenue rose a little bit, but their net income went up quite a bit. And so their profit margin doubled to 12.54%. Then in quarter four, again, their revenue went up a little bit, but their net income went down somewhat. So the net profit on their profit margin dropped to 8.24%. And in quarter one of this year, their revenue stayed pretty much the same. Their net income rose just a little bit, and so their profit margin rose just a little also to 9.21%. And then in quarter two of this year, their revenue stayed roughly about the same, but their net income dropped a lot. So their profit margin dropped all the way back down to 4.03%. Now for my own personal portfolio, even though this is a good monthly paying dividend stock, I am not really a big fan of REITs right now, uh, considering the inflation rates as high as they are and the interest rates being raised to fight inflation. So personally, and again, this is not financial advice, but right now I am sticking clear of REITs personally for right now as far as dividend stocks. If I'm investing in dividend stocks, I prefer more blue chip like Pepsi and Coca-Cola, those type of dividends. 
talk. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It does greatly help out.